Have you ever wanted exclusive amiibo armor in Breath of the Wild? Have you ever wanted crazy strong, not quite normal shields? Have you ever wanted a soup ladle that just won't break? Have you ever wanted a 10 shot bow of light? Have you ever wanted to just fly across the map? Well now all that is possible and more with the Breath of the Wild trainer. What you're gonna need is a soft modded Wii U. You can find out how to soft mod your Wii U in my video tutorials. I'll put part one and part two in the description. You're gonna need a Windows computer as well as a copy of Breath of the Wild, either the European version or the USA version. Okay guys, so what you're gonna to wanna to do is click the link in the description and go get Joff Nerd's BOTW Trainer. It's gonna be the app.publish.zip. Just download the newest release. Head over to the downloads, right click this, extract it to app.publish, put it in its own little folder. Delete the original zip, you don't really need it. I'm just gonna rename this BOTW Trainer. And then I'm gonna put it into my Wii U Tools folder that we made the other day in our other tutorial video. Open up BTW Trainer. And this is about as far as we can go for now. We're gonna have to enter our Wii U's IP address into here, and I'm gonna show you how to get that in a second. Alright guys, so down here on the Wii U, just go ahead and load up Mocha Custom Firmware. Now that you're in Mocha, go ahead and launch the Homebrew Launcher again. Now go ahead and open up the HB App Store. Now I'm going to turn this music off because it's, it's very pleasant. Go ahead and go to All Apps. Now scroll down in your apps, and we're gonna keep scrolling until we find TCP Gecko 2.2. So we're gonna go ahead and get that. Should download fairly quickly. Now go ahead and hit the home button, and press over until you see your new program, TCP Gecko. Go ahead and launch it. Now take note of your Wii U's IP address, and then go ahead and press A to install TCP Gecko. Now every time you wanna use the Breath of the Wild trainer, you're gonna to have to do this. So I'm gonna press A. So now go ahead and load up The Legend of Zelda. So go ahead and launch the game that you want to mess with. I'm going to go ahead and launch mine here. Now that your game is loaded, go ahead and just pause it for a second. And I'm going to meet you over on the computer. So we're over here on the BOTW trainer. I'm going to just type in the IP address real quick here. And then you just want to hit connect and then hit load items. Now you're gonna have to get used to hitting this refresh all button down here because as you can see right here, it says items move around. What you see might not be what's in the memory. Hit refresh to get the latest data before you save anything. So now I'm looking at my weapons. These are all my weapons. You can see L sword means long sword. So those are the two handed weapons. Normal sword is just a one handed sword. And then there's also spear. And so you can see I've got a few, few things there. Here's your bows. Got all the different bows. Shields. All your armor that you have. The stars next to it are how upgraded they are. Then you have your arrows, which arrows you've got, materials, all your food, key items, 
coordinates. This is you can teleport. Just a few random things like that. The credits who all helped with this. So I'm going to show you real quick. So say you're in materials or something here. Your item value. This is how many you have. So you can go ahead and just change this. So say I had acorns, 39 acorns. I can change this to let's say 50 or 67 and then hit save. And we'll look for some acorns. Here we are and we have 67 of them. So real quick, I will give a link in the description for the Breath of the Wild trainer values here. So these are eventually these are essentially the short swords. Now you can just swap out any short sword for one of these ones by copying the number. Say you wanted, let's see, the Moonlight Scimitar, or now let's get something cooler than that. The Goddess Sword from Skyward Sword, and this is an amiibo item. So it's 057. We'll go over to the trainer, and we'll find a short sword. So here, we'll use this Royal Broadsword. And we'll type in 057, and we're going to go ahead and hit save. And now it's become the Goddess Sword. And now we'll go over to the Breath of the Wild. And I'm going to hit start. Go over to my swords, and I should have a Goddess Sword. Here it is. So that easy. Now we've got a nice Goddess Sword. We'll go back over to the trainer. So now we have the ability to mod these weapons. So swapping them out is just that simple. Uh, it's the same with the bows, same with the shields. Just replace the number. So mod amount and mod type are the only things that really matter. I'll show you up here. The easiest to mod are the bows. So for the bow mods, you can make any bow a multi-shot bow by changing the mod amount. Now the mod amount is going to be how many arrows. So you can see here 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, etc. over to 0, 0, 0, 10 for the amount of arrows. So example 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 10 is a 10 shot bow, which is technically you can't have. It'll come up as a 5 shot, but the bow of light as an example will shoot 10 arrows and the Lionel bows will shoot up to 9 arrows and so if you put a 0-5 here instead it would be a 5 shot and a 3 shot etc you get the idea you can also make it a quick shot you can change the attack up so you can make the bows extremely powerful you can do the same thing with the weapons so you can see one of the other attributes is attack up so you can essentially change this attack up to anything you want and apply it to any weapon and make some crazy strong weapons. So you can see under weapon mods, the attack up mod is this one here. So we'll copy it, go over to our goddess sword, paste it in. And then over here, said we want it to be 10 attack up, you change it to 10 at the end. If you want it to be 14, for some reason it's E, but we want to go crazy, we're going to put in Let's see, 10,000. I'm going to hit save. And we should have, we'll exit out of the menu, open it back up here. We should have a crazy attack goddess sword. There we go, 65,000 attack goddess sword. So now we have an absolutely crazy, ridiculous sword. We'll do something with that in a minute. I'll show you how to mod bows so that you can shoot as many arrows as you want. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this mod. I've got a regular silver bow. We're gonna go ahead and change the mod type to this one. And then we'll change the number. We'll make it a 10 shot. It'll probably only actually be like an eight shot or something. And we'll hit save. So we'll shoot it up. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine shots with the silver bow. Pretty cool. So say you wanted the bow of light with multi-shot or the twilight bow with multi-shot. So see twilight bow is 72. So we'll replace our silver bow with 72. 
hit save and now it's the twilight bow which is from the amiibo and it should have a bunch of shots shoot up in the air here one two three four five six seven eight nine nine shots with a twilight bow that's how freaking cool that is so there's a few bows in the game such as the savage lionel bow that already shoot three shots automatically so you might not want to add the multi-shot bow mod to it so you could maybe add the attack up and shoot three really strong arrows or you could maybe add the quick shot mod and shoot them a little bit quicker. So I'm going to try adding the quick shot mod over top of my Twilight Princess bow. We'll get that mod type and the mod amount. And then we're going to turn it into a Savage Lionel bow. So we'll change it to 32, then hit save with quick shot and times three. Hopefully it doesn't break here, but there it goes. Three shots. Probably shoot it quicker. If you're sick of running out of arrows, you can go ahead and give yourself 999 of any of these. So you can do the same thing with the shields. Give them higher defense with a shield up. And you can swap them out for any shield you want. Like say I've got a guardian shield there and I want to turn it into the hero shield from the wind waker. So I need number 57. Go over here, type in 57. And then this mod type right here is a shield attack up. So it's currently got eight attack up. Let's give it, or defense up. Uh, let's give it 20. And we'll hit save. Now it turned into the wind waker shield. And let's see. So here it is. Shield guard up with a 32. So now we've got a pretty strong Wind Waker shield with a 97 defense. That's pretty awesome. If you want to start getting yourself some amiibo armor or any armor for that matter you're going to need something to replace it over top of so go ahead and travel over to kakiriko village and we will head over to the little tailor shop down here should be a woman outside telling us to come inside so we're going to go in here and basically just buy all of the Highland equipment. So we get the Highland trousers, the Highland tunic, and we'll get the Highland hood. So now that we can find all this stuff, just in case you have multiple amounts of it, go ahead and equip it. So I'm going to equip all the stuff we just bought. And then we're going to head over to the Breath of the Wild trainer. So you can see things highlighted in red it, over in the trainer are what we're wearing. So I've got the Highland hood, Highland trousers, Highland tunic. If it's not showing up, hit refresh all. And basically you can see here's some of the rarer stuff like Cap of the Hero, the Fierce Deities mask, the Sheep mask, Cap of Skies. These are basically all classic uh, green tunics for Link. Here's the Fierce Deity stuff. The stars represent how upgraded it is. So if you wanted to get the four star, the highest upgraded Fierce Deity mask, you need um, 229 is the number. So for the mask, it's going to be head. So we're going to go over to the Highland Hood and we're going to change the Highland Hood to the Fierce Deity. And we hit save and it should, there we go, change to the Fierce Deity. And again you can just keep using the same number some of these don't have the same number but a lot of the amiibo ones do so we'll just keep dropping in 229 and that should give us four star everything fierce deity so there's fierce deity boots and fierce deity armor there's also a fierce deity sword if you wanted to get it don't forget to look for that so we should be able to hit start and then re-equip all our stuff here And now we have the Fierce Deity clothes. 
So you can pretty much do that to get any amiibo stuff or even any upgraded armor that you want. So now that we've got all these crazy high-powered weapons, such as, where did it go? My 65,000 damage goddess sword. Let's go fight a Lionel. So before we go fight this Lionel, we're going to click the codes tab and enter in some codes. There's quite a few things you can do. One of my favorite things is to use the moon jump. Holding down X will allow you to float up in the air, kind of like the old n64 emulator cheats and then speed will allow you to go faster while holding the shield button so i'm going to put on eight times speed and the moon jump and also for weapons you can change all the shield and the bow and the sword durability so you can make them infinitely strong they'll never break we're going to go ahead and do that and hit save hold axe you can just float in the air and if you start gliding, you can hold X and float up. And then if you hold the shield button, you start going really fast forward. So you can see a star has fallen over here. So we'll just head over here. Sometimes the game glitches out because it can't load it fast enough. And if you keep tapping it, Link's legs go hilarious. So I got a star fragment. So you can see here, I'll start running just holding down the shield button you can bounce off of stuff and just go flying and I've decided that maybe the goddess sword isn't the best thing to fight the Lionel with even though it's got 65,000 damage so I'm gonna change it to something a little bit cooler eh, not quite cool enough there we go over there is a crazy strong Lionel. We're going to go fight him with our new trusty soup ladle and wind waker shield. Fly over there with our new flying ability. Oh, landed right in the goop. There he is. So he wants to fight us. I'm going to pull out my trusty ladle here. Use my flash super speed to get up to him here. Yeah, bring it on. What do you got, bud? I got you. Check this out. Ha! Yeah. Wait, what? Wait, what? What? I hit you with the soup ladle, bro. Well, thanks for all the goodies. And that is part one of using Breath of the Wild Trainer to absolutely break the game beyond belief. Wahoo! Wah, wah, wah.